Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Brian Scalabrini. I think this Scal card is absolutely elite at the small forward position. Um, and 2K did, I mean, for the last drop of the year, they did a great job with the Bible cards. That is one thing I will say. Between Scal, Jonathan Bender, and George Mersad, it's three elite level Bible cards, three of the best in the game. And this Scal card, despite only being at 6'9 at small forward, is absolutely exceptional across the board with an elite jumper and just overall should be a really good card. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I generally upload every single day. To be honest, I have not the last couple days. I know, but, um, and I'm probably not gonna be every single day super crazy consistent over the next couple weeks. With that being said, we're gonna be grinding a decent bit to finish out 2k23 grinding a ton to finish out 2k20 or to finish out 2k24 i should say and grind a ton when 2k25 starts as well um and i'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe if y'all are excited for 2k25 without further ado let's hop right into it scal is 99 pretty much everything i mean this when you look at the stats he's not 99 everything the way that invincible cards are 100 overalls but 97 defensive stats across the board 98 three ball 95 speed and excel a shoe boost gets anything to a 99 and honestly it's all gonna play like 99 anyway Anyway, so um, 40 hops, 31 gold badges. When you look at the Hall of Fame badges, of course, it's everything important between elite shooting badges, handles for days, anchor clamps, glove, interceptor, brick wall, blow by, speed booster, fast feet, right stick, removal, bulldoze, removal, enforcer, 94 feet. All the important standard badges in this game. He's another one of those cards who just has everything you need at an elite level. And he's only, only quote unquote 6'9 at the um, small forward position, which isn't huge at this point in the year. But the thing that he does have is, I mean, pretty good player build and perfect sigs. Trey Escape, Jamal Murray behind the back. Not super out of standard there at this point, but nice to see regardless. And Emmanuel quickly base and upper, which is actually one of the quicker releases in my team. Uh, it's always been one of those jumpers this year that I thought was a little bit hitchy, at least early in the year. But I'm not going to lie, the more I've used Emmanuel quickly release, as the year has gone on, the more I like Emmanuel quickly release. It is just such a smooth, fast, easy to green release that gets off super easily and just makes scal. I mean, with a jumper like this, perfect sigs perfect badges pretty much in terms of at least important badges and just everything you could pretty much ask for on a card i think he's i think he's really really good um i just i don't know there's a lot of good small forwards so you may not need this scalabrini card with that being said i really like jonathan bender but this scal card gives him a run for his money when it comes to best viable small forward he's really really good so let's hop into a game see what we can do with brian scalabrini Yo, this dude's team is kind of nuts. He's got George Merson and Taco as his big. So holy smokes, what a big lineup. He has Pink Diamond Kobe at the two. Makes me think he's just a Kobe fan, which if that's the case, credit to you. But the rest of your team is unbelievably good. I mean, Ron Artest at the three isn't huge, but he's got Goat Cream at the one. 100 overall taco at the three at the four and um good defense and they call foul whatever you're gonna live with it i guess um but as a whole i mean he's got a really really good really big team and this should be a nice little matchup here for sure to test out what scott can do even uh ron test the three while not huge is an absolutely exceptional defender so we got ourselves a good fun matchup here so it should be an interesting one to see what we can do both offensively and defensively before we hop into or not before we hop into it let's just hop into it let's see what we can do is he really just leaving interesting defensive strategy i have to have to assume that wasn't intentional but i'll take the assist and take the open three and he almost turns the ball over as well look at sga managing to get a contest without fouling that time we fouled the first time not that time though attack downhill reset it up to ooh, i wanted to shoot that but it just wasn't quite there um reset here that's uh behind the back away from the screen beautiful move good job and emmanuel quickly base gets us an open jumper that job i really like that shot I, I can't believe that when emmanuel quickly first came out this year i looked at his jumper and went i don't like this shot very much because the more i use his jumper it's just so good this is emmanuel quickly base and upper so his jump shot i don't understand how i didn't like it that much to start the year but it is such a good jumper uh, I, i'll watch this watch this you stink at defense good job sitting in the corner though oh my goodness and then he gets a paint stop with kobe i lied apparently he's tough hard off ball to the corner what a dog um and then we back door but we still don't get the bucket that's always fun let's play d good job good stuff cut off mirsan yes he's big but kp's pretty big too so good job chris Stapps. nice job playing defense and getting us another stop catch in transition reject the screen stop i want to shoot it but i'll just dump it down to sar as well yes taco is huge but sar gets in front of him gets the stand 
Okay, Doc, and we have ourselves a seven to three lead. Even if uh, Scal only has two points so far, he's contributed to all of our buckets. So I think he's playing himself a solid game. Watch the back door to Marisan. Oh yeah, look at KP. KP's competing defensively right now. You'd absolutely love to see it. Drive the ball here, kick to the corner, Scal. Um, go up top and let's just fade. Pro two fade. That's open. That's a good shot, and I missed it. No way. Pro two fade on Scal though. I mean, literally perfect animations pretty much on him, which is super duper nice. And this dude hits a pull up three with Kobe, man. Even to this day, Pink Diamond Kobe just still has super solid animations, even if they're not unbelievably incredible at this point in the year. That is one of the cards with the most longevity of this year by far. When I think 2K24, my team, that Kobe card is one of the few cards. Oh, and one three. Oh, not an and one three. I thought I was about to get an and one three. That would have been disgusting. But um, Scout with three free throws here should knock all three of them down with his very high free throw rating, very smooth free throw release, all that type of stuff. And he hits. Apparently, that was a two. He hits them both, though. I thought that was a three. I don't know. I guess not. Um, cut off the dribble drive again. Just make him work. And Mirasan's wide open. He misses it, though, because it's a jumper. I don't really think he was expecting a jumper there. Scal, catch and transition. Pull up and green. Slow fade. Brian Scalabrini knocks that one down as well. He's got sharp take, and we have ourselves a 12-6 to 6 lead. Don't let Scal get hot, man. Don't let Scal get hot, man. Uh, I tried to get back to that with the SGA, too, and I reached myself out the play. And that's terrible. There's really nothing I can do there. Honestly, I don't think that's that's pretty good I thought I played pretty well there and I wound up giving up buckets like it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, he's gonna get to the free throw line again, but I just think I, I think I played pretty good defense there So I will live uh, Still gonna have what a 12 to 9 lead here if he would shoot these free throws a little quicker That would be appreciated But uh, 12 to 9 lead three point lead with sharp take on scal closing out the end of this game I think we should be able to get a win relatively easily despite this dude's team being very very good um, Outside of obviously kobe who's still not bad. So pick and pop here with scal hit our pop He's hard off balling as per. Oh, he actually clicked on never mind. Are you playing? Are you playing defense for a second? Oh my gosh Why are you rolling kareem pop? Please don't give that up, dude I just don't even understand that. It's all right though run the floor scal you can catch and slow fade again I'm catching slow fade. I don't care. Yes, sir scal for three. Oh my gosh. I suck I suck. I have nothing else to say other than that. That's just bad Terrible miss by me to be completely honest. Um SGA get there good defense SGA way to get a late contest and we get a 20 and uh, Swing it across court again as good as Mirasan is I'm not sure he can stick with I told y'all look at the Jamal Murray behind the back and scout gets himself another three ball off We missed one last possession didn't miss that time and we got ourselves a 15 and 9 lead another questionable shot with Kobe I respect the effort to use Kobe uh, I really do but I just think the shot selection has been a little questionable here and it's definitely putting himself in a spot where he's probably not going to win this game uh, good D look at us playing defense uh, I honestly that wasn't even me I was rotating off ball there I know but it's okay um, behind the back again three ball IQ release he's a dog he's a dog elite jumper perfect sigs best fade pretty much perfect stats and badges there's nothing to complain about with this card absolutely nothing um, and Brian Scalabrini having himself a very impressive performance. Uh, are you going to give me one more three? Oh, he just can't step high enough. He's just not stepping high enough. And Jamal Murray behind the back is cooking him right now. Three three balls in a row up to 16 points and two assists in the game. Yeah, we started off slow. Doesn't matter much at this point in the game, though, and we're hooping at this level. Um, and I just think Scal has had himself a heck of a performance. Off ball ain't going to save you, my friend. It is not going to save you. I'm pulling that one, too. He's not clicked on. <laughs> he was clicked on, but he wasn't close enough. He didn't have his right stick up. Up at all he's reaching in and it leads the contest system down we get another three ball off of scal goodness gracious y'all are seeing by the way the effects of that emmanuel quickly base the iq base is just absolutely exceptional and we're seeing it at a very very high level here uh another good defensive possession another good contest and another really honestly just bad shot selection scal again another three actually a four that time and holy crap he ended off this game insanely well 23 points one rebound two assists just hooping absolutely hoping this scout card is absolutely elite at the small forward position yes he's a teensy bit small but he makes up for it with perfect animations and an elite level jumper absolutely phenomenal performance by scout with 23 1 and 2 7 and 9 6 7 from 3 and the one three ball i missed was an open shot as well he is a dog hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace